the other place that is really near and dear to my heart is the old JCC, which was torn down, the Hillcrest Country Club. You know, that was bought um, by some benefactors of the community uh, in the 70s. It used to be a country club located in Rio Terrace. And I worked there for many, many years. I started working there in 1987. Um, and stayed until they sold the building and it was torn down in 2012, I believe it was, when we moved just to offices, which are rented on 156th Street. But we did so much of that building. You know, there, had a, there was a pool. Uh, my son learned to swim there. There was a gym where we had, you know, Masmaud celebrations. You know, we had exercise classes. Temple Beth Ora was there. There was a Montessori school in the basement where my kids went to school. Um, you know, there were offices there of every Jewish organization you can imagine. Um, B'nai B'rith had conventions there, BBYO. Um, Hillel students had meetings. There were Hebrew classes. We had pottery in the basement and, you know, sculpture classes and sketching in the river valley. And there was a workout room with personal trainers and a weight room. And we spent a lot of time in that building. We used to dance there. The Israeli dancers used to dance there. I mean, that was really, you know, the hub of the community for me. And when I moved here um, in 1987, that was my home. You know, I worked there, I spent time there, I met my friends there. Um, it was a great place, but it deteriorated like all buildings do. It was an old building. You know, I think it was built in the 50s and it had, you know, outlived its useful life. You know, there was a curling rink that got torn down at one point. The outdoor pool slid into the ravine at one point. <laughs> um, the tennis courts just got overgrown with nature. Um, and, you know, it was going to be too expensive to renovate it and keep it. So the best thing to do was to sell it, you know. Um, and we've been looking into building another JCC for a very long time, the community has. And it's difficult because everybody has different ideas about it. And it's very expensive to build buildings nowadays. It's it's not like it used to be. I think the old the first synagogue probably cost less than ten thousand dollars to build and was built in a year. Well, less than a year. It's built in a few months. I mean, that's just not the case anymore. And there's all kinds of hurdles and rules and regulations, and it's hard to figure out how to do it, who's going to pay for it, where it's going to go. So I don't know that that will ever happen again. Um, plus Edmonton has changed, you know, the population has been kind of steady since the 1950s. It's about 50, it's about 5,000 people total. People come and people go, but the kids tend to go to university elsewhere and then stay elsewhere. And then parents move there when they retire. And, you know, it's not a stable population. You know, and it's not a, a wealthy city. We don't have a lot of wealthy people anymore, you know, willing to foot the bill for these kinds of things. And I don't know that we'll ever have another community center like that. Um, it's hard to say. I mean, that doesn't mean we can't have Jewish life here. We have the synagogues. We have lots of buildings. We have the drop-in center um, downtown as well. Um, you know, we have services like Jewish family services. Um, we have lots of buildings, but to sustain the population is another thing. You know, we have two Jewish day schools. Um, we have lots of activities. People get together, Hello gets together, BBYO gets together. We have a camp in Pine Lake that is supported by the Jewish communities of Edmonton and Calgary. There's a lot of things that we have to support, and I just don't know that uh, a community center is a priority for us. Um, plus the fact that, you know, there was a reason why there were these community centers built. Jews weren't allowed to join country clubs and athletic facilities and yoga studios and, and stuff like that, whereas now they are. So we have a lot more choice. Um, so I think that's one of the issues too. Um, so I don't know if we'll ever build another building to replace Hillcrest.